Oh, back in the day, if I had beef with he is not living today. Leafy a demon. He caught his first body. Don't no ramble down. It was like the end of May. Ain't no cat. You can ask all of my eyes. They'll tell you that Leafy a gat. And they'll tell you, like, no, we don't like him. But I'ma be real. Lord Leafy can rap. Right. I really came for the sister. So f right. He a boy in the streets. I'm getting chicken right now. So he really ain't sliding as much. It's more than the beef. I told my homie that I was gonna stay out the streets. Came home and I'm riding again. They told me focus on rap. But if I get to drop on the op, then I'm sliding again. He calling my phone like, you know you my man. Saying that he gonna kill you. I ain't your man. Comfortable telling you, homie, I really don't feel you. I hit a lick, put the work in the bag. They know that I go to work with a man. I bust up like the purse in the pants. I left my out in the dirt in the grass. Back in the day, if you had beef with the you got your beat. You was the one trying to run up the street, but they could feet. Back in the day, they was back in my place. So if I one side, they gonna slide too. First time that I slid, I was missing, but respect in my hand because I tried to. I was like, yo. Hey, what's up, y'all? Y'all know my slogan. I don't know it all, but I know what I've been through. Now, before we get into this video, please make sure you head on down to Instagram and follow us on our official Instagram page at hookahanonymous underscore. All right? We're able to be a little more explicit, a little more uncensored, and share content freely without running the risk of having our channel terminated. So, once again, Make sure you head on down to Instagram and follow us on our official Instagram page at Uga Anonymous underscore. All right. Now, let's get into what you guys came here to see. Now, as some of you may or may not know already, popular Philly rapper Leaf Ward has been arrested and charged with a slew of charges, including weapon possession by a felon, driving a stolen car and having drugs in his possession. It's unfortunate because his arrest comes shortly after he dropped his latest project titled Double R. Not to mention, his arrest comes right after his affiliates, Lil Bucks, who's also a Philly rapper, was arrested, and Baby, who is said to be Leaf's muscle, who was also arrested as well. Being that these two were locked up, first, social media have came up with all types of accusations with accusing Baby or Bucks for maybe telling on Leaf Ward, leading to him getting arrested. However, those rumors may be false because Leaf Ward would already have prior warrants as well as the way he was moving just wasn't how he was supposed to be moving. And we're going to get into all that as I explained to y'all what actually happened the night he was arrested. So if you haven't done so already, make sure you subscribe to the channel and hit that like button as well as that bell. So every time we drop a new video, you guys can be updated on what's going on. Now let's get into it. Khalif Ward, aka Leaf Ward, was hit with three felonies on top of having warrants after he was arrested on Wednesday night, August 16th, 2023. Leaf Ward was detained after trying to flee from police inside of the restaurant Bahama Breeze, located in Northeast Philadelphia, which consists of Latin American Caribbean cuisine just outside of King of Prussia Mall. Now, it all started when Leaf was spotted driving a stolen black Dodge Challenger on his way to the mall by surveillance cameras when they noticed the vehicle, which fit the description of the same vehicle that was reported stolen back in July of this year. After being notified of the car's location, the police arrived to the restaurant where their car was parked to confirm that it was in fact the vehicle that was stolen. At the time, Leaf Ward didn't notice what was taking place outside of the restaurant and was inside eating and drinking with a woman. It's when police called the tow truck after confirming that it was the stolen vehicle that got Leaf Ward's attention, which prompted Leaf to try and escape from the restaurant to avoid contact with the police. He would go outside to see what all the commotion was about and then run back inside once he noticed everything. The rapper took off through the restaurant's kitchen and led police on a foot chase as they were trying to detain him after the pursuit. Leaf Ward would eventually get caught and held at taser point until cooperating to be detained and taken to Montgomery County Correctional Facility. Here's where more charges would emerge during his arrest because Leaf Ward would give officers a fake name when he was asked to confirm his identity. Omar Washington is the name he gave police, providing officers with false identity, which is also a felony, which got him a providing false identification to law enforcement charge added to his list of already crazy charges. On top of that, they say Leaf was armed with a Glock 40 caliber gun with an extended magazine at the time of his arrest, illegally being that he's already a prior convicted felon. However, it's uncertain how the weapon was retrieved because they didn't find a weapon on his persons, 
because as Leaf ran through the restaurant's kitchen, he dumped the weapon in the trash can. How do we know? Well, watch this. Have a good night. <laughs> As you can see, the weapon that Leaf Ward allegedly had was dumped into the garbage in the restaurant's kitchen. However, the employers thought it would be wise to do a TikTok and incriminate him by posting the weapon and reassuring social media that it was Leaf Ward that put it there. I don't know if that is exactly what led to the police finding it and charging him with the weapon, or maybe they just found it themselves. However, going on social media and posting a weapon that was stashed during the commission of a crime wasn't a smart idea neither. But that was just the tip of the iceberg when it comes to charges because as Upper Marion Township police officers searched the stolen Challenger, they also recovered a plastic pill bottle labeled Bum Feet as well as a white plastic bag that police said resembled MDMA or ecstasy. Leaf's other charges including possession of firearm as a convicted felon, several drug-related misdemeanors, evading and resisting arrest, and recklessly endangering another person. But to be more specific, here are the charges Leaf Ward is being hit with. Number one, possession of a firearm prohibited. Two, firearms to be carried without a license. Three, receiving stolen property. Four, evading arrest or detention on foot. Five, recklessly endangering another person. Six, false identification to law enforcement officer. Seven, resist arrest of the law enforcement. Eight, intent to possess controlled substance by an authorized person. Nine, purchase of controlled substance by an authorized person. And 10, use and possession of drug paraphernalia. And on top of those charges by just capturing him, Leaf Ward already had outstanding warrants for various crimes, including one from the Joint Gun Violence Task Force of the State Attorney General's Office and Philadelphia DA Office for Felony Weapons Offenses. Leaf Ward's bail was set at a monetary $150,000, and so far we haven't heard any word of him being released. Now let's point out a few things here, y'all. And before we get into anything, let me say this. When you really live in what you rap about and you get caught for really living what you rap about, everybody call you stupid. But when you aren't living the stuff that you rap about on your records, they call you fake. So it's damn if you do, damn if you don't. <laughs> you know, let's keep in mind that where he was arrested at as well, right? They consider Commonwealth and their punishments tend to be a little more harsh because they sometimes don't follow the common state laws and guidelines implementing their own at times so that's one headache he has to worry about but i'm sure he's smart enough to get a good enough attorney because he's definitely going to need it with those charges that he caught especially already being a prior convicted felon and as much as i like leaf's music i really wonder what was he thinking as i say all the time on this channel when you're doing something illegal there's no sense in doing double illegal things putting yourself even more at risk of getting caught you know, it reminds me of the guys who transport drugs or whatever the case may be, or drive illegally without a license and everything, and they think it's cool to smoke in the car while they're doing it. It makes no sense. You're giving police probable cause to stop you and search the car where they'll potentially find whatever you have hidden in that car. So why do it? In this case, he was riding in a stolen vehicle and had drugs with a weapon inside of the car. And the car is already stolen. So why would he think it's cool to joyride and take a woman out to eat in a main area like that while you got a stolen car and a weapon and controlled substances? It don't make sense. And as far as how he was caught, right? They were able to identify the car, reports say, by being spotted by surveillance cameras, which notified the police. I'm assuming due to the license plate or the VIN or whatever technology that they have to do that <laughs> but it notified the police and that's how they were able to identify the car which led to leaf war being followed and arrested at that restaurant now if you in the streets that tells me that if you out there doing whatever you're doing be very careful because these days the technology is one of the things that's doing the best work out there it's not good police work it's not nothing but technology and it's almost impossible for you to beat technology, especially when it's everywhere we go. 
So it already kind of places you at a disadvantage and clearly he was caught off guard as well. Usually these guys always talk about running from the cops and ditching them and but this time he didn't even get a chance to. You know, due to that technology. It caught him off guard. So that's pretty much it, y'all. We'll just have to wait for an update in Leaf's case. But as of right now, there's no release date and it's unknown when he'll be back in court. He has a bunch of charges and cases that he'll be fighting. So I'm sure more things will come out concerning his arrest and in their future. As of right now, make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe. Hit that bell so you're notified every time we drop new content. And remember, as long as you keep on watching, I'm going to keep on dropping. And I'm out.